Hello queens and welcome back. It is Queen Esther, Queen She Me, and today I just decided to come on here and chat with you guys. Um, y'all, this past month has just been, I don't know. I just don't know what word to put to it. I don't know really how to express it. So here I am just chit-chatting with you guys. So the last month, as you guys can notice, I have not been as active on social media as I had hoped to. And some projects or some of the things I have been wanting to create for you guys, I just have not had the, I don't know, I guess the creative juice to just do it. I don't know. I just have not been feeling creative lately. I have been doing more of like just going inward and just learning more about myself, finding things that really do matter to me like really getting to the root and to the core of you know who I am presently right now social media has just been like crazy it is so heavily saturated and it is so easy to just you know start to compare yourself start to question yourself start to think whether what your mission is is actually having some kind of effect on people a positive effect I should say you know impact upon other people's lives you know and if your message even really matters you know because let's just be real natural our community women of color community empowerment community upliftment inspiring spirituality a lot of it right now is fucking saturated it's just heavily 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 saturated and i just really had to start stepping back from social media i just had to just start weaning myself off of people that i was following people that i support people that i have met over the year and just other things as well and starting to just really reevaluate the things that i am deciding to consume in my life and the direction that i'm wanting my life to go because i'm a 27 year old woman educated you know headstrong you know just really just outgoing and as of lately this last year honestly i have not felt that way i have not felt strong i have not felt as empowered as i would like to feel i have just not felt like me and it has just been like a whole shift and it's just been happening internally and I cannot give 100% to you guys if I'm not giving 100% back to me. So that's really what it has been. It has just really just been trying to give back to me. It's just starting to reappreciate who I am, my talents, my passions, just everything. Because again, like I said, social media is like pretty heavy. And not even just social media, you guys. It's just real life as well. Like I've been having like real life shit happening to me. And I have just been trying to find my place in the world again. And... I think a lot of people can, you know, honestly, you know, uh, relate to me, you know, and feeling that way. I have also come to realize too that I am a very emotional person. I didn't realize how emotional I can actually become. And it comes through as me just being so passionate about a lot of things. I know a lot of times me being emotional or me expressing myself can come across in the wrong way when really I am just really coming from my heart. Like I'm just really just coming from just the trueness of me. And I just feel like sometimes it can be hard to be true to yourself because a lot of times people will take you the wrong way or may not understand you but it's not for you to even try to get people to understand you your mission and my mission I'm saying is I am here to be an inspiration <laughs> and however that form of inspiration is that is the inspiration and I think that's what I've been struggling with I'm such a multifaceted person I have a lot of passions I have a lot of interests and I am continuously growing I'm continuously learning and I think we all are on a certain level you know in our lives and I have just been learning that about myself and with my platforms it was starting to show it was starting to show on my Instagram it was starting to show on my YouTube and I just stopped being present I was not being present with myself I was not being present with just what it is I was trying to do I just think I got to a point where I was just trying to do too much because again I just felt like I needed to be doing a lot of stuff and that's just not the case like I have to do what feels good and if I don't feel inspired you're just not inspired and I think again a lot of people can relate to that hence why I'm sitting down just coming to you guys talking and this past few months with me going back to school with me going into cosmetology I've learned a lot more about myself I learned a lot more of how you have to be kind of strong and you have to you know realize that you're going to have to just make your own lane 
It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to trust yourself. You're going to have to trust the process. You're going to have to trust that everything is working in divine timing and the way that God has a plan for you. <laughs> if y'all really knew me, I'm not saying that you guys don't know me, but if you really knew me, and I'm saying like people, my family, my close friends, my real friends who know me, you guys know the real. I've been through a lot. And sometimes it's hard to express that. It's hard to share it with people. It's hard to even put it to words because it just sometimes seems like life is just going. It just seems like sometimes you're just going through the journey and you're just like, damn, like, when's the period just going to be the damn period? Or is it going to be a comma or a semicolon or something, damn it? Like, sometimes it just seems like life is just always on the go, y'all. It just seems like it's always on the go. And I have just slowly but surely have just been learning that you know you're gonna have to share yourself you're gonna have to just get real with it you're gonna just have to just do it and it's easier said than done you guys know I try to be as authentic as I can with you guys and even with myself because in trying to be authentic with other people you have to still be authentic with yourself you have to be true to who you are and being true to who you are doesn't mean that you have to remain the same person that you were yesterday a week ago two three five ten years ago it doesn't even matter it's just everyone is constantly changing and it's been a lot of stuff spiritually for me that i have just been releasing and learning and trusting in myself and it started to show again in my passions you guys like i love doing youtube i love filming videos for you guys and i also enjoy posting on instagram and i think in just trying to get my message across it's a challenge and so that's what's what i've been learning you guys it's just figuring out my my lane <laughs> just figuring out just how i can be of service to others and not question my service because again everyone serves people differently for me i have just always been a people person i like to help people i like to just be there when i can for others in any way shape or form and you know you just have to be careful about that because i've learned over the years that you know people can just use you <laughs> they can just whatever like you know just people can just get what they can out of you and then they can just leave you just feeling depleted you know and that can just be with any situation it could be a job a situation a person place or thing like it can be anything that can really and truly deplete you you know and this last year it, like I said it has just been a full transition for me it has been a transition for me and just realizing what it is that I'm wanting for my life what I am wanting years coming, what it is that I am wanting with my platforms, what it is that I am wanting with my spirituality, what it is that I am wanting with my friends and family, and what it is that I'm wanting to dedicate my time to. And it's just called self-reflection. You just have to sit down and just really just look at yourself and just really just, you know, sometimes just be like, okay, yeah, you did that. That occurred, but it is okay and you just need to move on. But you need to trust yourself in moving on and knowing that, you know, you're not a bad person, <laughs> nor does it make you a greater person. It's just you're a person who is finally just letting go and, and just releasing a lot of weight. Um, And it's just been pretty interesting, you guys. Some... <laughs> Some of these past few weeks, I have not been able to sleep a full night of sleep. Um, I've been waking up super, super early. Um, I'm not a dreamer. I don't dream. So don't ask me that. But it has just been a lot. It has just been like, I hear you. And I guess I'm hearing myself. I guess I'm really hearing what it is that I need to be doing for myself. What it is that I need to be doing. The direction I need to be going towards. And... Y'all, it's just been a journey. It's just been a journey. And I guess, too, within making this video, I guess it's my way of saying, you know, I'm sorry for not being as present. But I wasn't being present for myself. I was kind of just putting my self-care, my self-love, and just the what I need to give back to me. So that way I can continue to give to you guys. You know, because in order for me to share, like, for example, my Mantra Monday videos, I love that I was doing those. But it was depleting me it really was i didn't realize that <laughs> it was going to be that much of like energy for me to like actually do those type of videos now mind you the video might be on like a minute long but i'm sitting down repeatedly you know trying to make sure that i have it together the script and everything and 
in doing that though it helps to open me up <laughs> it helps me to actually get in tune with who i am and i guess in doing that it was i was starting to shed you guys i was really starting to shed a lot of things that i thought i hadn't let go and so i had to step back from the monster mondays because the monster mondays like i told you guys it is simply a prayer to carry along with you to help you through even your hardest days throughout the week and in turn it was helping me but then it was helping me to realize a lot of other things too as well that i wasn't feeling as confident about myself as i presumed to have been feeling like i really started questioning myself i started questioning like Esther are you good enough for this like no one's gonna want this if you create this no one is gonna want to hear this see this be a part of it let alone even put a dime towards it and I was really like in a space of just limbo and just not wanting to create I didn't want to come on here I didn't feel like I had anything to share with you guys I felt like I lacked value and that was just really just the ego and I guess my negative self-talk that can sometimes come up because let's just be real like I've always shared with you guys I do still you know at times deal with you know a little depression but it's not like oh a week or anything like that it might be like a day maybe like 30 minutes maybe like an hour I don't know it's just all in how I'm feeling in the moment but it does creep up sometimes including the anxiety as well um even with me being in the cosmetology program it's been kind of interesting you know because there's a lot of people in there with a lot of knowledge and experience to a certain extent and you know sometimes people will question you and sometimes it'll lie. And I'm like well yes I might be a youtuber but that doesn't mean that I'm not knowledgeable into what it is I've been sharing with people for all this time like I have actually helped people <laughs> like literally I've helped people and I have also helped myself in turn so I do feel like I do know something I do have value to provide to people even people who are still wanting to transition and go fully natural like I did almost four years ago so it's just been a lot of me just starting to just have to be like Esther you are worth anybody's time like you have a message like your message is valuable like you're not null and void like just because you might not have this kind of this or this kind of that that does not make your work any less than that other person's and I'm having to trust myself in that you guys and so I'm sitting here today just as raw as ever just telling you guys just like what it is and like yes it gets hard out here I've been doing this shit let's just be real for the last four years and I think yes a part of it I have kind of held myself back because I haven't been trusting myself fully I haven't trusted the fact that what I have to bring to the table is not valuable and I think it's been because too again like I said social media you can see other people and follow their journey just like how you guys follow my journey and then you can start to question your own damn journey because you'll be like well wait a minute boo I've been here you just showed the fuck up like damn like yes and I know I'm not the only person who has felt that way and it's not even just with social media it's not even just with YouTube or Instagram or any kind of platform that you may be on it could be even at your job you can feel the exact same way and you know what now even talking to you guys about this I had that same experience when I was 15 years old I was working at McDonald's and this young cat came on I had been there like a year and some change trying to work my way up and he just shows up and he comes in all kinds of way and dude got the position that I was trying to get yeah sometimes it can kind of make you feel that way and it's funny because the universe will represent the same exact experience again to try to show you that lesson and that lesson just represented itself to me and talking to you guys so like I said life in general has been presenting things to me helping me to shed things helping me to find my inner light and to kind of find my little flame again you know because yes my queen is still in me and it's in all of you guys as well but yeah like sometimes it can kind of slide off you know sometimes it can kind of just almost fucking disappear <laughs> let's just be real but that is life and that's really and truly how I have felt you know in the last year it's kind of been on and off on and off and but for this last month it has kind of like just really creeped up on me and it's just like girl it's time <laughs> it's like it's time now you got to break them chains you got to step on out there and you just have to trust yourself and you need to start speaking more you need to start using your voice more and 
y'all it can be kind of scary because <laughs> you can sometimes think that again like i said you might think that your message may not have any value but it really and truly does um because i will be announcing in another video about <laughs> something that i do have in the works and it's going to be happening in the next almost less than a month and if you follow me on instagram then you already know but even in that you guys like I had to trust myself and I have to know that I can do this <laughs> and again like no one reaches out to you if they didn't think that you have any value to bring to whatever it is that they're wanting you to be a part of and so trust yourself I'm trusting myself more and I'm just learning that you know like you're just gonna have to just do it you're gonna just have to just believe in yourself wholeheartedly and you're gonna have to just really just start to just entail and make sure that you're giving if you're giving love out to everyone else you got to make sure that you're giving it back to your damn self and you know and i just you know and like love to myself to me is you know painting it's listening to music it's dancing it's you know seeing my friends it's seeing my family and <laughs> I'm getting back to it. I'm getting back to it. I'm getting back to me and I'm wanting to, you know, not just even necessarily just get back to me, but I just want to be a better me, you know, and I think all of us are wanting to be greater than what we were, you know, previously. So with all that being said, you guys, yeah, like this video so far has been 16 minutes. So I'm fixing to get off of here. I thank you guys so much for listening. And I do apologize for not being as present, but um, you will be seeing content from me. Um, I am back. <laughs> I am back. And I just hope you guys are just sticking around. And I hope we can all continue to grow together here on Queen She Me, guys, where we are all simply discovering the queen who is she within me. <laughs>